Yes, good evening to both of you. Uh, law enforcement officials have been calling for a discussion like this for some time, and it wasn't just police there, but also district attorneys, judges, and local lawmakers all in attendance to share a snapshot, really, of the challenges they say they're feeling and the most pressing day-to-day -day execution within their roles. Congresswoman Claudia Tenney leading a private roundtable talk Tuesday morning with law enforcement and government leaders ranging from local, state, and federal levels. I think one of the, the biggest dis uh, discussions we had is on the problems with discovery, as, especially coming from our DAs, the lack of resources, uh, the money. It has so much added to the burden of our judges, added to the burden of our prosecutors, added to the burden of our law enforcement on all the things that they are, that they have to do. Ontario County Sheriff David Sorencion, speaking on the matter of bail reform, shared an example he brought forward, noting deputies make about 500 arrests each year for larcenies at the Eastview Mall, with a majority leading to an appearance ticket, adding many defendants don't show up to court and are therefore issued a warrant. That, he explains, can then lead to operational issues should the defendant run into legal trouble in a neighboring area like Buffalo or Syracuse. We bring them back here for an arraignment in our cap court and probably 90% of them are released on their own recognizance at cap court. Sometimes they're then stuck at our jail with no ride and no way to get out of there after we've traveled an hour and a half to pick them up. That's not doing a service to the business owners or the people that live in these communities. And at some point, I'm asking the state, like, we have to do something to look at that. Two Border Patrol agents were also in attendance Tuesday. On the subject, the Congresswoman highlighted she learned of issues they face in New York's Green Light Bill, signed under Governor Cuomo, allowing New Yorkers the opportunity to earn a driver's license regardless of immigration status. We're looking for ways to change the green light law uh, in the spirit of what the 9-11 Commission uh, wanted to do with interoperability and having us work together on making sure that law enforcement is on one page, always respecting the, the civil rights and obviously the rights of, of people in our country, but also making sure that we're safe so that we get the information. So that's just one that we're looking at. And after today, Congresswoman Tenney, along with Assemblywoman Burns, each say they plan to take all that was discussed today and put it into legislation for action. For now, reporting in the studio, Isabel Garcia, News 8.